what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Into the joy of the Lord. Well, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done, well done.
Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. We do honor the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Great God! God! Come on, let's put our hands together and give God praises. Amen. God has been good. Amen. God has been an awesome God. Amen. And I'm so glad that he's God and he's God alone. Amen. He didn't have no help creating the earth. He didn't have any help creating you and I. But because he's God, I'm grateful that he's God. There's no God beside him. There's no God besides him. He is the only wise, true, and living God. And he carries the name Jesus. Amen. And we're so grateful that we're not confused. We know that Jesus is God and God alone. We do honor him and appreciate him. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have life. Amen. If it wasn't for him, amen, we wouldn't be existing at this present time. Amen. The Bible says that he breathed breath into man and man became a living soul. So man could not have became anything without God. So you're nothing without him. We are nothing without him. And that's something we always should remember. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for my pastor and father, Apostle C.A. Coward. <laughs> to the presiding bishop, Bishop Ira J. McLeod. To the board of bishops. To our district overseer, Overseer Kevin Williams. Our district elder, District Elder Andrew Johnson. Amen. To the ministers of the gospel, Minister William, Minister Randall, Minister Woods. Amen. Thank God for my mother. Amen. Sister Reynolds. Amen. Thank God for our first time guests, returning guests and friends. We appreciate you being here with us today. I believe that the Lord, amen, if you haven't got anything yet, amen, before the service is over, we believe that God's going to do something. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. And I believe that just touch yourself and say everything's going to be all right. Uh, you ain't said it like you mean it. I don't want you to say I got a feeling. I want you just to speak it and say everything. It's going to be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything. Not some things. Not one thing or two things. But everything. And I don't have no feeling. I don't have no feeling. I, I know that everything is going to be all right. Amen. I want to talk to you today from this message, Seed Me, Please. Seed Me, Please. Amen. Uh, we, amen, live in an hour now where... A lot of the churches and the people that's in the church, amen, is seedless. And because of the culture and because of the arena that we live in now, amen, everything, when you go to Walmart to get your oranges, they don't have no seeds in them. You go to the grocery store to get your vegetables. They don't have any seed in them. You go to church, no seeds. They live in a seedless environment, and thus this causes people to stray away because they're not close to the seed. Not only not close to the seed, but, amen, you have a twofold. You have those that are given the seeds, and then you have people that are not receiving the seed in their heart. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. And the reason why, and let me make this declaration, the pastor didn't backslide. I wasn't running away from the church. And I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay. Amen. Let me make that declaration before I go any further. 
has to take a couple of days off when they think somebody backslid. Nah, I ain't going nowhere. The devil would be happy if I stopped preaching. Amen. But what happens is when people are not placing the seeds in them and the seed is just on them, it's easy for them to stray away. And we have so many people that have strayed so far away from God because they don't have any seeds in them. Amen. You have so many people that are going astray from God because they're putting a the seed on them and not putting a the seed in them. Y'all ain't saying much. In fact, you'll find people when they come to church, generally they're changed the outside but don't deal with the inside. God, I wish I had the right church. Uh, most people change their outer appearance, but the inside, because the seed ain't go in the inside and penetrate the heart. Lord, have mercy. We have a seedless nature. In fact, sometimes the seedless orange tastes real good. It tastes like the real thing. Church to stay awake or woke, if you will, we got to have seed in us. In fact, I've learned as I travel with you, keep you up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. One of the strongest trees is from a seed. Amen. You have very strong oak trees, but I've seen oak trees be uh, broken by wind. But there's a tree that they have in Florida called a palm tree. And it's not by coincidence that it's called a palm palm because a palm is in the, just 10 of y'all, okay, I'm going to take my time here because y'all not getting this thing. See, when you're in the hand of God, you can't go nowhere. Y'all ain't saying much. We need to make sure that we're like a palm. In fact, uh, go down to the Psalm chapter 1. Hallelujah. Got somebody and say, I need some seeds. And when you got them seeds, you got people giving out seeds. Don't let it fall on stony ground. Watch this. Psalm 1 and 1. Read, uh-huh. Blessed is the man uh -huh. that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, uh -huh. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law though he meditate day and night. Uh-huh. And he shall be like a tree. And he shall be like a what? A tree. God want us to be as trees, but I can't be a tree unless I got a seed. God, I wish I had the right church this morning. There's no way that I could stand strong, no way that I could stand strong as a tree except I have a seed. The Bible says, blessed is the man that walketh. Amen. Not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Uh, read the next verse. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Uh huh. And in his and in his law. Uh huh. Yes. And he shall be like a tree. Uh huh. Planted. Planted by the rivers of water. Wait a minute. I just can't be anywhere, but I got to be where there's something flowing that could keep. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If I'm not, not just, I don't just need to be a tree planted, but I got to be planted by some water that is flowing. Hallelujah. I don't want you to be a tree planted by the creek. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I, I don't need you to be a tree planted by the pool. I need you to be by the river. Then Jesus is so powerful, he gives an indication, amen, in the Gospels. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers. But not just rivers, but rivers of living water. If you got seed in you, you ain't got no business being down because you got life in you. I wish I had 25 of y'all with me. Uh, when you got seed in you, hallelujah, things start to grow in you to solidify you. Thus, this is why the Bible tells us we need the fruit of the Spirit because I need fruit, but fruit can't get there unless there's been a seed that has been planted. 
Lord, I wish I had the right church. I got somebody to say, seize me, please. One of the things that I recognize, amen, continue that verse and then I'm going to move forward. And he shall be like a tree. And he shall be like a tree. Look at somebody and say, I'm a tree. I read. Planted by the rivers of water. Planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit. That bringeth forth his fruit. Watch this. In his season. In whose season? His. So because I got seed in me, that is an indication that there is a season specifically designed for my life. And I, y'all ain't saying nothing yes. to me. If the scriptures is right, there has to be a season just for me, God. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, you might have had your season last week, but I believe today my, I'm walking in my season. The seed have been planted in me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And the Bible says that the seed is the word, and I'm speaking word into you right now. If you can believe what I'm saying right now, just know that this here is your season. Somebody shout hallelujah. You got to learn how to receive stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. When I, I ain't never seen nobody eat no seeds with their mouth closed, God. Look at somebody and say, close mouths. Don't get fair. So if the seed is going over there to you, you got to open up your mouth to receive it. That bringing forth fruit in. Uh, uh, now watch this. That bringing forth. Read that again. That bringing forth his fruit. Watch this. Your Fruit is not the same as her fruit. Amen. So when Davon pull up, amen, in the Bentley, that don't mean, y'all ain't saying nothing, that Frankie got to pull up in one because that might be his. He might pull up in a helicopter somewhere. Oh <laughs> Pastor, what are you saying? You can't get upset when somebody has some fruit that's not yours. You know how they call them nacho cheese? That's nacho fruit. That's somebody, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Somebody else's fruit, so you can't get upset because somebody is in their season and their fruit is coming for them. Can I tell you what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to celebrate with them. Oh, God, y'all ain't saying nothing. See, you know what I don't like about saved folk is that they don't know how to celebrate with folks. Somebody get blessed with something, they looking over there like, why not me? No, if you start praising God with them, because if it's raining over here and you're close enough, you'll get wet. And you, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. And you got to get in your mind, if I can just get close enough to the one that's getting blessed, I know that God's going to bless me. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. If it's raining on this street and you ain't getting wet, baby, you better get closer to the cloud. There's water over there, but I don't see it leaking over here. Well, if you want to get wet, you're going to go where the water is. Somebody shout hallelujah. Read, uh-huh. In his season. In his season. His leaf also shall not wither. His leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And whatsoever he doeth. If you got that seed and you know that there's a season coming, and while the season is there, there won't be anything that wither. Even if it look like it's trying to wither, it can't wither. You know, sometimes it looks like this is going to happen. You know, in fact, when you look outside and a storm is coming, the clouds get real dark. It get real dark, but I can't get the rain without the dark cloud. And can I tell you something, saints of God? You got to go through. Y'all ain't see. Y'all don't want to hear this part right here. This ain't the part you want to hear. See, hey, let me tell you something. When that seed goes in the ground, sometimes, or not sometimes, all the time it's dark. Oh, God. See, the problem with people nowadays, they got the seeds on the ground and not in the ground. In the ground, that's where the darkness is. But guess what? The Bible said that he spoke likeness out of, Lord, have mercy. Before the light came, it was dark. Let me give you Bible because y'all looking at me like you ain't never read it before. Go down to Genesis chapter 1. Thank you, Jesus. 
One and two, uh huh. And the earth uh -huh. was without form. Yes. And void. Uh huh. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Uh huh. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Now, watch this. Why in the world does the Bible say that God is moving in the dark place? Lord, y'all ain't saying nothing. And a lot of times when it's dark in our life, we feel like God ain't moving. But the first place that God was moving was in the dark. God, I wish I had 25 of y'all. The first place that the Bible mentioned God moving is when it was dark. So you might well lift your head up and get out that dark place because God right there. Just because it's darker, that don't mean you put your head down. Just because you're going through, that don't mean you lay down there and just get drugged and beat up. Nah, baby, God is right there. Now watch this. God start moving in the dark place. Then he said, you know what? Let me open my mouth to change the scene. Read, uh-huh. And God said. And God spoke out of. See, and this is the problem with some of y'all. Y'all don't know how to open up your mouth when you're in a dark season. Lord, have mercy. I wish I had 25 of y'all. Some of y'all don't know how to open up your mouth and give God glory in the dark hour. You don't know how to open up your mouth and give God praise in the dark hour. You don't know how to open up your mouth and prophesy to yourself in the dark hour. But while it was dark, God said, glory to God. I wish I had 25 of y'all that was just excited as I am about this message here. Listen, he said something because it was dark. He didn't just sit there and just move. He said, you know what? Let me speak. And most case scenario, when people are going through, they close their mouth. That's true. Lord. Ooh, Lord, it's getting quiet now. While you're going through, is the best time to open your mouth and give God the glory. Why do you think Paul and Silas waited till midnight? They could have praised God during the while the light was out there, but they wanted to wait till it get dark enough because they read in Genesis, hey, you know what? God start moving when it's dark. And what y'all ain't saying nothing to me. If you get in that dark place, you might as well say, Lord, I know you right here, and I know how to get you to move. The Bible says he inhabits, God, I need 25 Bible readers. He inhabits the praises of his people. So right there in the dark place, God, I'm going to start praising you because it's going to cause you to move a little bit. If you want God to move, you need to open up your big mouth and give God glory. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. And see what happens is if God is moving, you can't sit still. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. This is why, amen, half of y'all was slayed out. Ain't know what to do a few minutes ago because when God start moving, your head... Your hands start to move, your feet start to move, body start moving. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm jumping. I don't know why I'm running. Well, baby, it's because God is moving. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I need to grab hold of somebody hand and say, neighbor, if you want God to move, you got to start moving. Stop being so stuck. Stop being stagnant. Stop being so stale. Stop being so stiff and give God the glory. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, look at somebody say, I ain't stay on no more. See, things get stale because of that old air. But when I know that God is in the area, and because God is life, I can't be stale. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Watch this, let me get back, let me get back, y'all. Y'all making me nervous, y'all have a seat, y'all have a seat. All right, now, he said, read two again. Uh-huh. And the earth was without form and void. Earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the darkness. face Darkness. 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 But when I got seed in me, even in a dark place, I'm reminded that if he's the light, and I am associated with the light, then he told me that ye are the light, then all I got to do is shine. Y'all missed that. I'm not even going to go further. All right, keep reading. Y'all ain't with me this morning. And go, darkness read, huh? was upon the face of the deep. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. Moved upon the face of the water. Yes. And God said. And God said. Let there be light. Let there be what? Light. So where did light come from? Came out of darkness. Which means that good come out of 
dark places. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. So, you're telling me that some good light can come out of a dark place? Amen. So, you're telling me that God will move in a dark area? <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. All right, now, we go down there. Go to that 11th verse. Let's get this understanding of the seed. The first time seed was mentioned, watch how God said this thing. It's got to set up. Watch how Moses got to set up through God. Read it, huh? And God said. God said. Let the earth bring forth grass. Let the earth bring forth grass. And the herb yielding seed. Uh-huh. And the fruit tree yielding fruit. Uh-huh. After his kind. Whose seed is in itself. Who's what? Whose seed. Seed is where? Is in itself. Wait a minute. So, the seed is in the seed. Oh, I gotta take my time here because I don't think y'all understand this. He's saying that the seed is inside of the seed. Meaning that the more seeds that I have, we don't die. Lord, I just need 25 people. We, we can't die. We, and then a lot of times when you look at seeds, it got a shell on the outside. Ah, oh, God. And see, that little coat, hey amen, it can be torn off. But that seed. <laughs> Look at somebody say, seed me, please. Seed me, please. Go down there, amen. amen, to the book of Luke. I'm sorry, go to 1 Thessalonians. Sad to say, but there is a sleep church out there. Sad to say, but there is a sleep person that's out there. And the more sad to say is that the people in the world is trying to take over what we should be saying. The slogan in the world now is I'm woke. And it shouldn't be the world that's woke because they really sleep. It should be the church that's woke. Because it's to see that opens our eyes. Watch this, five and six, read, uh-huh. Therefore, Therefore, let us not sleep. Let us not be what? Sleep. Sleep, uh-huh. As do others. As do others. But let us watch and be sober. But let us watch and be what? Sober. Sober. Only way that I can stay awake or woke I got to make sure the proper stuff is going in my system. Sometimes y'all get too messed up in the mind because of the things you listen to, the people you hang around. It don't allow you to be sober. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You, might, you watch more TikTok than you watch messages of God, <laughs> from the men of God. Jesus. Let me step up here because I got real quiet. Watch more YouTube videos than you do trying to get the seed. And this is why when every little thing happens, you get the mentality to backslide on God. Oh, God, I, I, this wasn't going to be the part. Now, this ain't the part that everybody going to say amen. That's why I got all the other good stuff out of the way about the season and all that stuff, everybody. Hallelujah, amen. But you start talking. If I am not eating enough seeds, I'm not eating enough word, it causes me to slumber, get sleep, and, amen, I'm not sober. And this is how it's so easy for anything to cause me to leave God. Can I be honest with y'all? If anything can cause you to leave from God, you ain't have no... I don't have to So when I come out of the water, I still have a process to become a man. Because I was born again. Thus, I become a baby. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And in order for a baby to get strong, now all this stuff that they teach you in America about milk and broccoli and cheese and all this stuff, help, help your body, they lie. But you need to make sure that you're getting the right stuff in your body. Why y'all so quiet? Y'all must love cheese or something, yeah. 
y'all, you know, y'all know y'all the only people because I don't drink it. But y'all the only people that drink cow milk, or the only species that drink somebody else's species milk. Y'all ain't. Why y'all? Why y'all looking at me like that? There's no. Y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing. You ain't supposed to be drinking no animal milk. Y'all make, y'all, oh God, let me get let me get back over here. Y'all don't see no squirrels drink. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all don't see no dogs drinking cow milk. Nobody. Only people that drink cow milk is humans. Why? Talking about milk doesn't buy the good. That, that ain't the right. Not that milk. All right, some of y'all said, man, Pastor don't want me to eat my cereal milk no more. <laughs> but you got to make sure that the right stuff is getting in the body. Yes. So when I'm born again, what am I putting in my body? And some of you all are still stuck at baptism because you haven't been eaten. Oh haven't been getting no seeds. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, you know, that candy and stuff ain't no good for you. You know, don't feel, you know the candy is the feel-good messages. Everything going to be all right messages. You ain't going to go through nothing messages. That's them Sour Patch Kids. That's the ones. <laughs> sour and sweet and good. You know, all, all those different things. You know, God's intent, once we've been reborn, we got to eat the right stuff. Because we want to be built. Because if we're not built, see, watch this. When that palm tree is down there in Florida, guess what bends it? Wind. What bends people in the church? Wind. But when I'm built, I can bend, but I don't break. I just need 35 of y'all. If, if, if the wind is blowing and I got enough in me, I... It'll make me, it make me bend. You look at them trees down there in Florida when them hurricanes come, they just bend, come back straight up. Bend, come straight up. But they're not broken. Can I tell you something while you're still here? You're still here, amen. You've been bent, but you haven't been broken. So you can find out who really put the seed in them because they bent a little bit, but it didn't break them. The storm came, but it didn't break me down. I, I got a little wound in the side, but it didn't break me. No weapon formed against me. Shall prosper. The wind came, but it didn't move me. Y'all ain't saying, see, 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 when you look at the wind, it looks like that tree is moving, but it really ain't moving. Amen. It's just dodging. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If it would. If it would move me, that means I come out of position. And sometimes if I don't have enough seed in me, I get out of position. But if I can have some seed in me, I can bend, I can move, but I can't break. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, that devil done tried it, but I'm still here. He fought me all week long, but I'm still here because I'm indestructible. When I... When I went down in Jesus' name, I became a part of a body that cannot be destroyed because God is living. I can't die. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I need to look at somebody and say, neighbor, I can't die. Oh, let me give you some Bible now. I'm indestructible. That's why the saints, if they transition, from this realm, yes. it's a sleep, sleep. It. and it's not a death. Right. Guess what? The transition is a bend. <laughs> See, Good. it was a bend when they got in that casket. Lord have mercy. But when Jesus came, the Bible talked about they're getting up. Yeah. Wasn't broken, just bent a little bit. Ah, y'all ain't saying nothing. It seemed like I was going to give up, but I can't give up. You ever try to give up, but you just couldn't? You try to, come here, son. You get out the ring, 
Come here, son. Sit right there. You get out the ring. Throw in the towel. And the towel happens to get thrown back to you. Push me up there, son. Be careful now. And then you get pushed back up in there. You say, you know what? I can't do this no more. Throw in the towel. The towel just happened to jump back on you. And you get pushed back in there. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. It's because I cannot be moved. Unmovable. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and say, neighbor, don't worry about what you're going through. Just don't move. Ah, because I, I heard a little, you know, a little thing back when I was doing. They say, if you move your feet, God, I wish I knew 25. God, I, I, he said, if you just move your feet, you'll lose your, and I've been seated in heavenly calm. Holy God. I've been seated in heavenly places, and I can't, I can't not afford to move my feet. I don't want nobody to take my seat. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and say, neighbor, I can't afford it. I done been through too much. I done, y'all ain't saying, I, I done been through hell. I done been through high waters. I done been through the valley. But God, I done been through every storm that you can think of, but I'm still here, oh uh, God. David said, yay, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and I will fear no evil because I know that God is with me. Then he gone over and said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. I came to encourage a few people, but the Lord will deliver you out of them all. I came to let you know today that God, the Bible says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I could ask or even think of. Somebody shout hallelujah. I need to look over to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't give up. I got too much seed in me. I, I, I weigh too much in the spirit. Once I got that seed, I started to put on a little weight. And because I weigh too much, I don't care what kind of wind blow my way. Baby, you can puff, you can puff. But you cannot blow this house down. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I don't care how many big bad wolves. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I don't care how many big bad wolves there are. They can huff. They can puff. But let me tell you something, David. You can't blow this thing down because I got too much seed in me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your name and say, neighbor, I got too much seed. I started to become a heavyweight in the spirit. Uh, the devil, he can't. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. The devil can't rock me. He can't move me because I got too much seed. Somebody shout hallelujah. And let me let you know something. Seed is investments. And I know that God, amen, he's an investor too. And God said, I'm going to protect everything that I put in you because I'm in there. And greater, God, I feel you. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I put too much in you. You can't give up right now. You might as well shake that devil off. He's going to say nothing. In fact, you might as well grab somebody hand and shake them real good. You might as well shake them and rock them and rock them and shake them and say, neighbor, God has put too much in you. Satan is out to steal seeds. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Bible says, go down to Luke 8. I'm about to get out your way here. Yes, On your way back to your seat, say, seed me, please. Seed me. Hallelujah. Seed hallelujah. Yeah. It's amazing how seed can get in somewhere and start growing. Yeah. Every seed that God created, when it get in the right ground, it has to grow. Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, a woman is considered a ground. And the man carries the seed. Husband and wife come together. Amen. And when the seed is in there, see, can't, listen, without the ground, nothing can come out. Oh, God, I wish I had somebody. But once the seed is in the ground, it goes from a little speck, and because it's in the ground, it starts to grow. Yes. 
Then I get hands, I get feet, I get legs. But y'all ain't saying nothing. Because the seed went in the right crown. Every seed, if it goes in the right ground. See, you can try to grow some apples down there in Florida if you want. The ground ain't right for them. That's like talking about going up there to New York and try to get you some oranges. The ground isn't right. That's why some of y'all need to work on your hearts. See, that heart is that ground. See, that word got to penetrate that heart. Get in that heart and start to change the inside of you first. Change your mind first. Now start thinking clear. When I see stuff happen, things happen, things go on, trials come my way. That seed in me. If God before me, who could be against me? If God, listen, if God did it for Daniel, he can't do it for me. If God did it for Joseph, he can't do it for me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Watch yeah. this. Eight and five, and I'm going to close there. Luke. A, a sower went out to sow his seed. Uh-huh. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down. And the fowls of the air devoured it. Uh-huh. And some fell upon a rock. Some fell upon the rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away uh -huh. because it lacked moisture. Lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Uh -huh. And the other fell on good ground. Fell on what? Good ground. Read, uh-huh. And sprang up and bare fruit and hundredfold. Uh-huh. And when he, had, when he had said these things, he cried, he that had ears to hear, let him hear. Uh -huh. And his disciples, disciples asked him, saying, what might this parable be? So what did you mean by all that, what you were saying? Uh -huh. And he said, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. But to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, uh -huh. and hearing they may not understand. Yes. Now the parable is this. Now this is the parable. The seed is the word the of what? God. The what? The seed that was being sown is the word. Read, uh-huh. Those by the wayside. Those by the wayside. Are they that hear. Uh-huh. Then cometh the devil. Then cometh the devil. And taketh away the word. Uh-huh. Out of their hearts. Out of their hearts. Lest they should believe and be saved. Watch this. They on they, hold on, hold on. You have to make sure that your word is not just in your heart. But you got to hide it. My God. God. I didn't read it good. David said, thy word have I. Yeah. I hid it. Whew. Because I know if I put the word in there, I put that seed in there, that devil, he coming to seek. My God. So not only do I put it in my heart, I got to hide it. Hide it. That's it. God. My God. Read, uh-huh. They on the rock are they which, when they hear... Receive the word with joy. Receive. Now, this is the state that a lot of you all are in, the church that are in. They receive that word with joy. You get that word, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I praise you. Then something happened. Read, huh? And these have no roots. Ain't got no roots. Which for a while believe. They believe for a while. And in time of temptation. And in time of temptation. Fall away. Fall away. Meaning that things happen in your life and causes you to move away. You ain't had no roots. You know, you know, see, roots is like feet. If you ain't got no feet, it's easy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Something blow you. <laughs> so people, when they go through, because the word, you're not rooted and grounded. Can't just be grounded, but you got to be rooted and grounded. My God. So when I'm rooted and grounded, guess what? When temptation comes, I don't fade away. My God. When somebody roll their eyes in the church at me, I'm not leaving. Uh, Y'all ain't saying. 
Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. They didn't invite me out with them. I'm not leaving. She act like she got an attitude with me. I, I, I can't be there. No, I ain't going nowhere. Because I have the fruit. And see, the problem with these folks is not that they didn't receive the word. They wasn't rooted in what they received. Sometimes we receive something, but we're not rooted in what we receive. We're not. We're not stable. Every little thing that happens, we get wavy. Start rocking. Start contemplating. Should I pray today? Do I need to pray today? I don't, I don't even feel, I'm not feeling this in it. See, when I'm rooted, God, y'all ain't saying nothing. When I'm rooted, I still got to pray. Sometimes, you know, see, you, you get in situations where you just don't feel like saying nothing out your mouth, but you can lay there and say something in your head. And sometimes when you get in a certain place, sometimes you just got to just lay there and say something in your head. Say, Lord, I, I, I don't know what else to say, but guess what? I'm going to cry out to you, Lord, help me. See, y'all try to, y'all want all these prayers. They got all the accolades. And, oh, you opened up my eyes this morning, started me on my way, got my blood running and flowing. But sometimes, Lord, I just thank you. God, I just praise you. Jesus, I thank you. God, I pray. And listen, I don't care if you say that for 15 minutes. Some of y'all talk, but they ain't really saying. That's their prayer. God heard that. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He, all he said was, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, hey, baby, sometimes that's all I can say. I, I, God, I, you looking for this real nice synchronized prayer, this prayer that sounds so good, but sometimes I just got to yell out, Lord, come on, Shia. Sometimes all I can say is Jesus. You better be thankful that I'm on this prayer line this morning because I almost get, I almost gave up. All I, all I can say is Jesus. Sometimes that's all I got, baby. Don't push me. I'm already here. I just got on this thing, and all I can say is Jesus. I'm not praying to you no way. Why are you worried, Lord? I miss I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Why are you worried about what I'm saying? I'm talking to God. Oh, somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Sometimes all I got is a hallelujah. Sometimes all I got is a thank you, Jesus. I almost thought about killing myself. And all I can say right now is, Lord, I thank you. If it had not. All I could say is, Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Trying to get here. Trying to get in this place with God. Sometimes all I got is a few words. Let me tell you something. Jesus said the same prayer three times. Repetitiously. Are you worried about what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. In fact, let's pray. I feel something here. Oh, my. Oh, glory. Come on, while you're standing, just take a few steps closer. Oh, God, seed me, seed me. Oh, God. Lord, I don't want to be the one that fall away. Oh, Jesus. God, the seed that you've given. 
Don't let trials separate me from you, God. Don't let temptation separate me from you, God. Lord, please. My fire, y'all can come closer. Come on. How you talk? Come on, let's just talk to him. Lord, I'm sorry for throwing the seed away. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, God. Forgive me for not hiding the seed. Glory. Forgive me, Lord, for not hiding it in my heart. Lord, today, touch my mind. Touch my heart. Lord, I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be one that walk away. God, I don't want to be the one to turn my back on you. Lord, help me to stand. Help me to stand and see your salvation, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. God, touch my mind. Touch my heart, God. Lord, eliminate any and everything, God, that's in me, that's keeping me from retaining the seed that you've placed in me. Lord, I don't want to be seedless. Lord, fill me with seeds, God, that the fruit could come to pass. Lord, in your name, Jesus, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. God, every heaviness that tries to distort our minds from getting to you, God, from retaining you, Lord. Remind us about the seed that was placed in us. Lord, remind us that we have victory. Oh, God, remind us that we have victory, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for still being there when we left. Thank you for being there when our minds were gone. Thank you for being there, Lord, even when we had thoughts of giving up. Thank you for continuing to be there for us. Lord, we are victorious. God, we will stand for you. Lord, help us to maintain our integrity in you, God. Lord, help us to not worry about the naysayers. Lord, don't let us worry about the haters. God, let us focus on the seed that has been placed in us. And God, today, we're looking to move forward in you. God, today, we're looking forward to giving our very best to you. God, we don't want to give you anything secondhand, God. We want to give you our first fruits. Lord, as you've invested in us, let us remember that we are your investments. And on every investment, Lord, there's a return. And God, allow us to see the fruit, which is the return, God. And God, as we continue on this journey, this faith walk, God, help us. Keep our minds focused on you. Lord, allow peace to be in our minds. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we glorify you right now. 
Lord, we give you praises. In your name, Jesus, we thank you. On your way back to your seat, encourage a few people and tell them to keep that seat in them. Keep the seat in them.